Every great singer needs a great vocal warm-up. A vocal warm-up will not only protect your voice, but it will also help you hit higher notes with more power. Even Ariana Grande warms up her voice before she does shows. Woozy, woozy, woozy. What's up guys, this is Matt Ramsey, your vocal coach, and today we are going to do some real vocal training. Now we're gonna go for 10 minutes nonstop. We're gonna start off by warming up the bottom part of your voice so that you have a really good foundation to start from. Then we'll warm up your entire vocal range from bottom to top so that you're able to sing from low to high without breaking. Next, it's about singing those mixed voice notes so that you can always hit those high notes with power. Finally, we'll work on some exercises that are going to help you relax your voice even on those crazy high notes where it's most important. Practice these exercises 15 to 30 minutes, five times a week. Make sure that you're taking lots of breaks, drinking lots of water, and your voice will grow and your confidence will skyrocket. Ooh, let's go. And many females have a really hard time getting strength and power on the bottom part of their voice. And this is worsened because there are so many popular singers today that sing breathy on purpose. But almost all of those vocalists learned how to sing with power and presence first. Even Billie Eilish. <laughs> So if you feel like that part of your voice is a little weak or there's a little bit of a break in your voice, let's start by working on the foundation first. One of the best ways of increasing your vocal strength is to get the vocal cords to close a bit more with this bratty sound, this na na na. And although it's really ugly, it's actually one of the best exercises to help you get really, really firm and connected in the bottom part of your voice. So today we're gonna get started off with a five tone bratty na, which will help you get a little bit more of that strength in those bottom notes. So like a na 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 na. Okay, ready? Here we go. Na 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 na. Really bratty. Na 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 na. Ugly. Na 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 na. Breath. Na 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 You got it. Na 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 Coming down. Na 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 And strong. Na 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 Almost there. Na 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 Last one. Na 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 Great job, everybody. So now that you're warmed up on the bottom part of your voice, let's start taking that strength that you're finding down there and let's actually apply it to your entire vocal range. Uh, one of my favorite exercises to do that is the octave and a half lip trill. And the reason that I love the lip trill so much is because it's so good at helping the vocal cords vibrate freely from bottom to top. You can go just really, really evenly and not have any big breaks or strain. Now, this octave and a half, this triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it done. That octave and a half scale can be kind of challenging at first, but it is one of the best scales for your voice. So even if it's a little bit difficult for you, just hang with me, go ahead and pause, rewind, rewatch this section of the video as many times as you need to to make sure that you get this. Now, if you make an effort here and really, really memorize that pattern, you will be amazed at how much this pays off in the long run for your voice. Okay, so we're gonna start right here. Ready? Let's go. Deep breath. Let that in. Got it? Keep going. Really stretch it. Keep the lips going. That's it. Really 
really go for it. Stretch. One more. <laughs> yeah! Coming down. Keep it going. Deep breaths in between. Keep that triple let feeling. Triple let, triple let, triple let, triple let done. Okay, here we go. That's it. Stay strong. Good. One more. Mwah! Beautiful work, everybody. Great, great, great. So now that you've warmed up your entire vocal range with that octave and a half on that lip trill. Now let's actually really focus in, dig in, and really start hitting those high notes with power. I mean, the lip trill is great, right? But you're not gonna get on stage and for an entire song. So eventually we have to open up our mouths in order to sing better. One of my favorite exercises for helping you hit those higher notes with power is this octave and a half bratty nay, like neighbor. And like I mentioned earlier, that bratty sound is so good at adding more power to your voice because it's getting the vocal cords to close a little bit more completely. And at the same time, it helps to stretch the vocal cords, getting you access to more of those top notes. Now, just a quick disclaimer. Again, this is going to feel super weird. Everything that you've learned about singing has been about how to sound beautiful, right? And people don't want to sound ugly when they're learning how to sing. But actually, in this case, it is super, super important. And that bratty sound is almost the entire point of doing this exercise. So remember, I don't want you to sing like this on stage, but in the practice room, it's exactly what we want. Now, all you have to do on this one is just keep saying the word nay, as in neighbor, in a really bratty way. So like that, nay, 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 And here we go. All right. Nay, 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 nay. So bratty. Good, nay, nay, nay. Super ugly. Deep breath. Here we go. That's the one, coming down. It helps to make the face sometimes. That's it. You got it. Here we go. Stretch. That's it. Oh, man, you guys are killing it. Awesome job. Awesome job. Good. Take a second. Let your voice rest. Have some water. One other variation of this exercise is where you select one treble note for you. Maybe it's a, a high C in a song, and you go ahead and walk up to that note on this kind of octave repeat scale, where you walk up, repeat, 
and come down, kind of like still on that bratty neigh, just like a neigh, 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 neigh. This can actually help you hit those higher notes better because basically every time you do that scale, you get one, two, three, four chances to hit that top note correctly. Now, as I mentioned earlier, that bratty sound is really helpful, but you can't really use it on stage. Not only is it a little bit ugly, but it also tends to have your larynx just a little bit higher. And for some singers, their larynx is already too high. So what I wanna do now is I wanna give you an exercise that's gonna kind of help you relax into those top notes, even when you're going crazy high. So let's do an exercise where you can get a slightly more natural and open sound. And that brings me to one of my absolute favorite exercises, which is the octave and a half mum as in mother. That open uh vowel is really, really good at helping your larynx and your voice to relax, but the mm, ma, 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 still gives you a little something to hold on, which is basically the whole point. And again, we're gonna be on that octave and a half scale again, so that ma, 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 ma. So really try to get that triplet, triplet feeling, and that will really help you lock in the scale. Because we've been doing such bratty stuff, it's really, really tempting to kind of flip and go up into your falsetto when you do this mum, like a mum, 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 And if you feel that happen, what I want you to try is just adding a little bit of a sob to it, like you're really sad, like mum, 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 and that should close the chords right up for you. Okay, here we go. Like a mother. That's it. Awesome. Drop the jaw. Keep it relaxed. That's it. Mom, 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 mom. Not ma, ma. Keep that jaw really relaxed. Here we go. Beautiful, coming down. That's it. Very good. Remember, deep breath. Here we go. That's it. Now, the truth is, some of these exercises may not fit your voice perfectly, and that's okay. Every voice is different and needs different things, needs different exercises and techniques. But first, it's important to identify what it is that's holding you back. That's why as soon as you enroll in Master Your Voice, you're going to get an assessment from a five-star vocal coach telling you exactly what's holding you back, but more importantly, how to fix it. You'll also get notes on exactly which exercises to practice, along with 62 step-by-step -step video lessons and 42 individual audio warm-ups. That way you sound your best. Click here to get started right now and master your voice.